It's been a long time since I first drove a Mini. In fact, it was a pre-production prototype. And since then, I've raced them, rallied them, taken the kids to school in them, taught my children to drive on one. My wife still uses one for shopping. I still own one, and I still think it's a fabulous car. But you know, people tend to forget just how revolutionary was Alec Isiganis's original design with the transverse engine, front wheel drive, a wheel on each corner, offering four people a lot of room in 10 feet of motor car. And although a lot of people have paid that design the compliment of imitation, no one has yet succeeded in capturing that uh, unique quality, which I can only describe as mininess. So let's first of all remind ourselves of what that is all about. Of course, today's minis are very much quieter than those early ones, even though I've got the window open. But the important thing to remember is that for years they were a world beater in international competition motoring. They still retain those characteristics and that is why they are safe and so much fun to drive to this day. For instance, they're still very lively. Of course, its brilliant steering and suspension have always given the Mini truly classic characteristics of road holding and handling. And needless to say, this sort of thing could get you out of very serious trouble on the road. Well, now, since I see we've been joined by the competition, let me make an important point about turning circles. As I'm sure you know, the Mini turns in a handy 28 and a half feet on full lock. The Fiesta requires two feet more. And the Renault, three and a half feet more. And even one reverse can be annoying and in some circumstances dangerous. When it comes to parking, the Mini's two and a half turns lock to lock, light steering, excellent all-round visibility, and compact overall dimensions take a lot of beating. In fact, the Mini is much smaller than it looks. It actually occupies 25% less ground space than the Fiesta. And of course, in these days, when space is at a premium, that means more room in the garage for a freezer or a workbench or even another car. And the car is extremely economical. I see a Mini Clubman has won the total economy run again. When Sir Alec Isigonis designed this car, he said he was designing a machine for the district nurse. What he actually did, of course, was to design a great little car for everybody. Now there's a whole new range of improvements, and Mini 78 represents even better value for money. Let's take the Mini 1000. As you can see, there have been a number of small but significant cosmetic changes to the exterior, which give that extra touch of distinction. The grille is now finished in fashionable matte black, and there is a twin coach line along the side. Perhaps more important, reversing lights are now neatly incorporated in the revised rear light cluster. Inside, undoubtedly the most distinctive change is the introduction of these very attractive new seats. They are trimmed in a cropped nylon material. They are very comfortable and 
extremely durable. And they are available in uh, sol or beige or silver, depending on the body color. Also new to the Mini 1000 is the standard fitment of reclining front seats, enabling even people of my build to find precisely the right driving position. There have also been a lot of other detailed changes to the interior, like this much improved twin spoke steering wheel, handbrake grip, and dipping rear view mirror, all of which makes the driver's life that little bit easier. The Mini, of course, has always provided a lot of places for stowing bits and pieces, and these have now been supplemented by these new full-width door pockets, uh, and even a useful little parking ticket pocket in the driver's sun visor. The passenger's visor now has a vanity mirror fitted as well. The new Mini 1000, all in all, quite a marked improvement, but let's take a look at the rest of the range. The Clubman, now more than ever before, one of the best value small cars around. It has the same coach line and rear lights as the 1000, together with attractive uh, new style wheel trims, a lockable filler cap, and tinted glass. And this not only looks good, but uh, cuts down glare and helps keep the interior nice and cool on hot summer days. Inside, it retains the existing crop nylon reclining seats, and along with the 1000, it gets the dipping rear view mirror, handbrake grip, vanity mirror, ticket and door pockets, and in addition, the stylish new steering wheel has a leather-bound rim. The 1275 GT gets all these features and more. In fact, it can go down in the record books as the first car to be fitted with the revolutionary de novo tires as standard equipment. Now, these have been much improved of late and now offer standards of wide road holding and durability, which are at least as good as conventional tires. And their appearance has been greatly enhanced by these new wheel trims. Together with all the other improvements, like uh, tinted glass, reversing lights, striped cloth seats, and so on, the 1275 GT is now a truly luxurious little sports saloon. And with substantial changes to both interior and exterior appearance, together with two bright new body colors, uh, Inca and Java, and two new trim colors, beige and black, Mini 78 gives the whole range a fresh new image. In fact, there are so many refinements to Mini 78, it's hard to take them all in at once. So, let's recap. Starting with the interior, all models have handbrake grip, vanity mirror, ticket pocket, improved steering wheel, which in the case of the two Clubman models and GT is leather bound. Every model except the 850 has a dipping rear view mirror and door pockets, and now with their standard fitment on the 1000, reclining cropped nylon seats striped on the 1000 and GT, or plain horizontally pleated on the Clubman and Estate. Turning to the exterior features, the 850 and 1000 acquire the matte black grille, and similarly the 1000 and the Clubman now have a coach line. Reversing lights fitted on the 1000, Clubman and GT, lockable filler cap, tinted glass, and new wheel trims on all Clubman GT and estate derivatives. And in addition, the 1275 GT has de novo safety tires with their unique wheel trims and twin door mirrors. So, how does this leave the competition? On this chart, 12 of the Clubman standard features are compared with the Fiesta L and the Renault 5 TL. Despite being more expensive, neither can match the Clubman in terms of specification. However, it may be suggested that these competitors' major advantage over the Mini is their tailgate. But remember, if additional luggage space is required and the versatility of rear doors, then, of course, the Clubman estate fits the bill admirably. Well, there you are. Mininess has always been a tremendous concept, and now with Mini 78, you can welcome your customers back to the best Mini yet.